How's it going folks? Welcome back to the channel. And today on the lathe we have an experimental piece. Uh, some of you are going to like it and some of you are not going to like it. But that's just how it is. Hope you all like it. You know, I think it's quite pretty, but there we go. Uh, so it's a lump of sycamore. You've just seen me chop it out of a block. Um, it's out of the worst end of that log that you just saw me chop up purely because it is an experiment. I managed to get uh, four blanks out of that one piece. Um, yeah, so that will be adding to my stock of sycamore. So what are we doing? We are rounding it off. It's about 11 inches wide and about 3 inches deep. And it's going to be a pedestal bowl. Yeah, pedestal bowl, pedestal platter. Let's see. So we've got it into round and we're just going to isolate the pedestal area on the bottom. Super easy to turn. I do love turning sycamore. It's like turning butter. A bit less messy than butter. Butternut squash, anybody? Don't know about that. Okay, so we're almost in balance. And we're just uh, sectioning off an area for our mortise. a little bit of a, a step on the inside of that pedestal. Okay, so here comes the experimental bit. We are separating a band. It's about an inch wide. Into which we are going to try and put some veneer. Now the veneer has got a glue backing on it and it needs to be ironed on. It's the first time I've ever used it. So, that's what's going in that little band area. So this is the last uh, bit of work on the outside. Uh, just putting a bit of a radius on the bottom of the bowl. Okay, out comes the blacky blue wood dye now in hindsight I probably wouldn't have done the blue just you know full disclosure and all that um, I didn't think the veneer would work very well with just the sycamore I thought it might look a bit busy but maybe it would look better who knows you have to let me know I'm sure I know what you're gonna say Anyway, the veneer worked reasonably well. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hopefully, with a bit of luck. It's got two joins in it, because uh, it has. And hopefully, they'll stay shut. So I'm going to leave this now for an hour, just for the glue to fully harden. And then we'll carry on with it and see what we can make. Okay, so I left it for an hour. And I did have to touch up a few bits where the glue hadn't stuck. I think you're supposed to use some kind of clamp or band with this stuff, but I haven't got one. Bloody phone calls, eh? Right, so that's the outside sanded up to 800 grit. And we went with some uh, Howard Feed and Wax and then some Shine Juice on the outside of that one. And it's got sort of a distressed feel. It is what it is. Sort of beachy. Reminds me of okay. beach towels. Interesting. Okay, so here comes the mortise.
trying to be super precise with that skew. I keep uh, making the mortises about 3mm too big by getting a bit um, a bit aggressive with the skew when I'm doing that final cut. And then I probably shouldn't have put that blue on there, but I went for more blue, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound. So there it is. Sanded it back off. Howard Feed and Wax and Shine Juice to get that sort of distressed look again. And then I didn't like the inside of the mortise. I got a bit of overspill from the blue. So I thought I'd make a feature of it. And put a few uh, little little bands of uh, bands of colour in the centre. And that is the back of the piece done, the underside done. And it is almost time to have a look at some of your fantastic work. And Chris Walters has been back on and he has been busy making his very first birdhouse. I like your determination, Chris. Keep it up, buddy. And next on today, we have Jean-Pierre Van Utigen, who sent us this amazing, uh, I think that might be a maple bowl, I'm not sure, with a uh, segmented rim. Really pretty bowl. Thanks for sending that in, Jean-Pierre. And if you'd like to be featured on the show, you can send your images to willmakeseverything at gmail.com. So, something a bit different now. I'm going to sign off. See you at the end. Shady Grove, my little love, Shady Grove, I say. Shady Grove, my little love, I'm bound to go away. Cheeks as red as a blooming rose and eyes with the prettiest brown. She's the darling of my heart, sweetest little girl in town. Well, there it is, folks. One sycamore and red ebony veneer bowl with blue wood dye. Does it work? You decide. It kind of works, I think. I don't know. <laughs> we have to try these things, don't we? Otherwise, life would be boring, and we don't want that. So, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have, give the old subscribe button a little knock, and, uh, yeah, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. 
and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, folks. See ya.